I want to tell y'all exactly why my puppy got kicked out of school. Look at her. She's like, I didn't do nothing. It really was just very shocking that the teacher, he said, don't come back. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. Good morning, y'all. Vera is just going through all my makeup. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, Jackson spent the night with my mom, and Vera woke up super early. So I wanted her to be in here with me while I got ready. It's just not working out at all. But I hope y'all are having a great day. Vera's just being a mess today. She's get, definitely getting to that age where she's become a handful. Aren't you? <laughs> but a beautiful handful. <gasps> Vera, no, please. Please don't tear up my makeup. No, let's put up all this stuff, okay? Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Vera, no. No, no, no. Oh, let's put this back too, okay? Thank you. Come on, Vera. No, 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 no. Come on. No, Vera. No, 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 no. Let's put it back, okay? <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? Vera, what are you doing? What are you doing? You can't do that. Definitely not a good idea to leave her on the couch by herself. You little sneaky butt. You little sneaky butt. What are you doing? Look at her. She's like, I didn't do nothing. Give me five. Good girl. You're so smart. What cone is this? Cone number four? I'm not sure, but we're having to use the cone to make sure she doesn't get to her ears. She just demolishes the cones. She like runs into stuff with it, hooks it up something. It, it is what it is. The cones are like $20 every time we have to buy a new one. She's worth it. So she just went to the vet yesterday to get her ears reposted. And someone asked why I wasn't posting the ears. And the reason why the vet likes to take time in between posting or taping the ears up to let the ears air out and i am very curious and i want to know what y'all think of this if you've had a doberman before do you constantly keep the ears posted or do you take them down and have it spaced out to a couple days down and then a, a couple days up let me know in the comments below because i'm very curious about that because we do want her ears to stand but we are doing what our vet is suggesting and sometimes she might get like a little sore on her ear from the tape and you definitely don't want to tape them up or post them up when that happens or she could get an infection or it could get way worse the vet said the reason why he likes to take it down at times is to let it air out so that it doesn't get an ear infection let me know whoa i wanted to talk to y'all today about grace something happened with her she got kicked out of puppy class she got kicked out of puppy school. I want to tell y'all exactly why my puppy got kicked out of school, but I had to go pick up my son really fast. He's at my mom's work. So let's do that first. He's with me. Oh man. <laughs> He's playing a game. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this little boy did not want to come home with me. No. Grace, do you like spending the night with Gamma? Yeah. <laughs> Are you Gamma's boy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jackson is upset because he wanted to stay with Gamma. Did you want to stay with Gamma? Mm -hmm. Baby, she's got to work, okay? Look at me. I love you. I'm sorry, okay? I love you. I love you. Sorry. Okay, do you want to eat something? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You're not hungry? You are hungry? Okay. So we went and we stopped by Burger King. <gasps> We got some fries. 
and oh what is this oh oh never mind never mind never mind a cookie a cookie yeah a two cookies yeah there's two cookies a chicken sandwich whoa look at that oh my gosh <laughs> look at that and jackson got him some french toast so you can have any of this you want okay and here's syrup too but you don't really like syrup do you do you like syrup no okay so you can have a cookie after you get done eating okay so do you want to eat this do you want fries or do you want my chicken sandwich you want French toast? Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, there is three. <laughs> There's three of them in here. Oh my gosh. There are three in here. Can y'all see that? And he said three. Wait, well, he does it like this. Three. Let's show the camera and go three. Cheese. I see that. <laughs> You're so smart. He's, he surprises me a lot with how much he knows. Out of the blue, he'll say something and we're like, what? Just something so smart and intelligent. And you just don't realize it because they're, they're so young. But you are so smart and it's just amazing to me just to see how much you're learning every day. <laughs> on your own. I do. And now he's saying there's only two left. <laughs> Tell the camera. <laughs> yeah, there's two. You're smart. You. Yeah. My drink. You want something to drink? Mm hmm. So, how much? Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Eat ya. What? Is it good? Uh, I love you. I so. He's such a good boy. None. One. No. <laughs> so Kim. One left. Did you wake up? Maybe kitty. Eat your hand there. Hey. Come on. There. Ooh. Did you miss your sister? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> She gotta eat too. She's saying she's hungry. Oh, you put her in her high chair. I did. Yep. Oh. I did. <laughs> Mommy, I did. I did. Hi. You want me to hug you? Yeah. Are you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> she was starting to get a little bit upset. Hi, Are you happy now? Oh. What's Vera doing? <gasps> what are you doing? I have Vera in her crib trying to get her to play. Sometimes she loves playing in her crib and sometimes she don't. And right now I'm wearing this, what do you call these things? Oh, it's like a posture corrector. That's what it's called. I'm wearing a posture corrector right now. I just have this really hard time standing up just perfectly straight. <laughs> so this teaches me how to. And little Jackson, what are you doing? <gasps> He's drawing. A bear. Oh, I love. A bear. Okay. Come on, girl. I wanted to talk to y'all about her puppy class and why we got kicked out. I never told y'all that I enrolled Grace into a puppy school. Me and my mom both have litter mates. We have, she has her sister. It was really my mom's idea. We just wanted to have something fun to do with our dogs. Also for the socialization. We have really limited where we go. This is the year of the most unsocialized puppies. It's so important to get your puppy out around other people, other dogs, other animals, other situations, so they can grow up to be a very well-mannered dog. And it just is very impossible to do that right now with the situation. Another reason why I wanted to do the class was just to have something fun to do with my mom, to be honest. 
since I never really get to spend a lot of time with her. It was just a really fun thing. So we decided to enter a puppy class with her. We only had about two classes left. The classes were weekly. We went every Wednesday straight off the bat when we started going there. I just didn't really particularly like some of the things that the teacher said to me about the breed Dobermans. I feel like a lot of people have this misconception about the breed that they are just a very scary breed and they're really not. They're really good dogs. I hope that anybody who's watching my videos can just clearly see that Dobermans are just a really wonderful breed but they have to be trained and socialized i would say if a doberman is left alone out of the house never worked with never really seen people never went anywhere and been around other people or other dogs they could definitely be unruly and hard to handle from the jump i knew that when getting a doberman that i had to start working with her immediately i had to have her around my kids i had to have her crate trained potty trained certain things that she has to okay do you have to look yourself certain rules that she has to follow this is our second doberman well second and third my mom has another doberman too i do have experience with the breed and i'm just i knew when i got grace that they were just an amazing breed so straight off the jump i just did not really particularly like the class i kind of dreaded going there but it was just a fun experience to go with my mom with her doberman and we had a lot of fun and after we would go to class we would take them to the park and we would take them to pet smart the class was really what i made of it i guess it wasn't really anything that they really done it was more so what we could take from it i just kind of was hoping for some really cool training I'm very used to like competitive training, so it just was very lackluster for me. Really, it was just mainly about teaching the doll how to walk on a leash and how to touch your hand, how to get the doll to like sit when you stop. All this stuff is very basic, but baby no. I feel like taking her there was a really good idea. I don't. Well, I would say I probably honestly do regret taking her there. It was good. It, it didn't hurt her at all. It didn't hurt her learning or training at all. She's a wonderful dog and it helped her some and it was a lot of fun. It got her around other people. I think that's just a wonderful thing. But do I think it was necessary? No, I don't. Not at all. But I would continue to take her there. However, they did let us know that there was a big problem with us going there. And I want to wait to tell you why exactly when my husband gets home. I'm going to tell him too because he has no clue. We were supposed to go to public class yesterday and this came up. So I'm going to tell y'all and him at the same time. Look at my mean scary Doberman. Look at her. <gasps> She's so beautiful. But I will tell you this much. Leave the ears alone. <laughs> She's such a little doggy. Hey baby. <laughs> Shane has no clue. Yeah, she better get it talking. I wanted to tell everybody at the same time. Yesterday was supposed to be our fourth puppy class I think. So Jackson has went with us several times. Vera has went with us several times because Shane goes to work and I don't want to have my kids stay with somebody just for a puppy class. I don't want my kids babysat really. I don't see the problem with taking them with us. We all live in the same house. They're my children. They're th uh, three and under. Jackson doesn't go to school. We stay home. He's perfectly fine. Vera's perfectly fine. I don't have a problem wearing a mask, but last time we were there, he asked if Jackson would wear his mask, a mask that they had there, and he brought it out. It was opened, and he was holding it in his hand and said, here, can he wear this? And I took it and put it on me, and I gave Jackson mine, because mm -hmm. I don't want my son putting something that he's holding with his bare hands in his face and immediately i mean i wasn't paying attention but jackson pretty much took that mask off immediately yeah, kids are not gonna wear a mask yeah a three-year-old's not gonna wear a mask the teacher ended our class about 10 minutes early the last time we was there and we didn't really we thought it was, he was just like oh this is all i wanted to teach y'all y'all can just go now and we left he wrote us yesterday i think he told us that we either need to find a babysitter or do it separately <laughs> and i told mama no <laughs> i said you can have my my time you can have it i don't want to go back i paid a lot of money and they're not even really teaching you that much, they're not teaching they? me anything i didn't already know i don't know how much it is per class we need to kind of 
look at it, but I paid a significant amount of money. I paid premium prices. Mm -hmm. And last time our class was so simple. He really only talked to us like 10 minutes. And it was basically let us walk our dogs back and forth, back and forth in the building. Or he told us to let the dog touch her hand and mm -hmm. give him a treat. And that was it. And that was quite expensive. Yeah. And then he sent us off because Jackson didn't want to wear a mask. It's like, I put my kids at risk. I put my nine month old baby at risk to go to that class. That dude is more likely to have something than us because he has a public job where he's yeah. working with a bunch of people. Whereas with us, we stay home. Jason does not go to town. Yeah. Vera does not go to town. We stay home yeah. all the time. I am a stay at home mom with my two kids. And the only time we go anywhere was to that puppy class. So if anybody's gonna have something, it's gonna be that dude. That's true. This virus has gotten everybody scared of everybody, it seems like. Yeah, it's turning people against each other. And I hate yeah, to tell him, right. but no matter where he goes, if he's going to restaurants, if he's going to Walmart, there's gonna be families there. And see, we don't even go out to restaurants. We don't, no. I mean, I'm the only one that goes anywhere. Yeah. Hey, I mean, he should have asked me, is, are your kids in daycare or are they in school? Man, I didn't understand why he's taking puppy classes anyways. I, honestly, it was something to do because we never left the house. That's the no. only time we leave the house. That's why I wanted to do it. And it was good for Grace to get socialized more because we don't go anywhere. So she does <laughs> need to be socialized. It was just really just something to do, fun. Yeah. So yeah, Grace got kicked out of puppy class. Boy, I hate to take Pavel. I wonder what kind of, how long it takes him <laughs> to get kicked out. No, I thought he'd do good. That's what happened. I'll take a day off next next Wednesday, and me and Belle will go there. That's fine. You, I don't, I, I'll let anybody go. I, they can just go for free. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go back. I love you. Oh, you do. I was out in the parking lot. I helped this old woman. Some stuff fell out of her buggy, and I picked it up for her because I didn't have a mask on. She just like, oh. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> mm. If you try to be respectable or treat people with respect, they just don't want nothing of it. It's gotten almost like we're in high school. If we're not part of the clique, we're like outcast. <laughs> It really was just very shocking that the teacher basically, I mean, he said either get a babysitter or come in separately or don't come back after I paid a significant amount of money. And I know for a fact that my kids haven't been anywhere. If my kids are sick, then we need to be really worried. I have no problem wearing a mask. I went to class every time with a mask on. My kids are babies. They're just little. And I also wanted to say that my both my kids were perfect in class. Vera didn't even get out of her car seat and she didn't cry not once. And Jackson was either playing with one of our phones or he was helping us with the dogs. He was perfect. Both of them were. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Give this video a like and also consider subscribing to our channel. We would love to have you join our family. Today's shout out is going to go to Marge and she said, I love online shopping. If it helps you feel good, you do it girl. Jackson is a mini Shane and Vera is a mini you. Such a cozy, sweet little family. I loved everything you got. I also like the pants long. I'm tall, so I love if I can get longer pants. How to switch cameras. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. Old Navy definitely has really nice clothes. I was very impressed. I've honestly never shopped at Old Navy before now. If anybody else hasn't seen my hauls that I've done lately, definitely check them out. One thing that I really like is they do have different leg lengths. So if you're really tall, Old Navy has the long length and they also have regular and short. The regulars were too long for me and I'm 5'2", so I have to get the short in Old Navy. I really appreciate y'all so much. I don't know if y'all know that, but I really do. I hope that if you don't know it, you know it now. I love y'all so much. I hope that you are having a great day. Let me know if you like this video today. I tried to do it a little bit differently and had 
a little fun with it. Also let me know what you would like me to record next. If you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button to join our family. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. We also have an Instagram at MorganFamily underscore YT. Our Doberman has an Instagram at Grace the Doberman Pincher. We're gonna go now because we're seriously about to go to sleep. It's really late. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Even if you try